Coach, what has gone well for your team in the first half? Started making plays, you know, play unselfishly, force the defense to shift, attack, get down the hill, then make a play. You guys followed the instructions to the letter. Thanks, Coach. Back to you guys. Thanks so much, David, and we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after this break. Hello, everybody. Tipping off halftime, let's start things off with a look at the all-star voting. And at this point, that battle is coming into focus. So many great names, people at home making their voices heard aloud and clear. Wonderful to feel love from the fans. And now let's focus on our game. A strong first half for the New York Knicks. They've handled their business. We all expected them to win tonight. They're playing well. The other team is letting the prognosticators get in their head. I hope I said that word right now. <laughs> no wonder I didn't hear, ever hear you say that word, because it's prognosticators. <laughs> That's what I said, prognosticators. <laughs> basketball for you two quarters in the books clay thompson with a strong contribution so far in this one and he's been running wild on them through that first half absolute dynamite on offense if they don't change their approach in the second half eh, let's just say his success will continue they've got robinson nurkic is out there with gobert then there's cj mccullough and it's thompson in at the two so that's who's on the floor for the knicks fouled on the shot and picks up two points so one free throw coming up it's on Mitchell Robinson. Come on, Looney may be a veteran player, but he continues to overachieve. Just last year, he set a new career high for rebounding in a single game. As a player, it's your job to keep improving yourself, and Looney has never lost sight of that. One shot. So it's McCollum. He'll bring it up for New York. They've held a 12-point lead early. Pass to Robinson. He dishes it to Thompson. Fades. And the Knicks getting another bucket right there. Phenomenal shooter from the mid-range. All play needs is a little bit of daylight. Lag a little bit, and it is gold. Brogdon with it. Robinson picks him up. Looney with the bucket. Important points there. Got him on a nice play, getting the ball inside and right to the bucket. And that was another look at the fantastic Mobile One drive that happened a moment ago. And the awareness of his footwork and body on that drive. Wow. Now here's Gobert. And here in the second half of play, we're just over a minute in. Robinson dishes to Gobert. Thompson inside the line. No good on that one. And it's the Cavaliers taking it the other way. Barnes against Nurkic. Barnes passes to Brogdon. Now, here's Looney. Six to shoot. Herder on the wing. Cleveland needs to get a shot off here. Mobley misses. The Knicks leading by four. Thompson surveying the floor. Brogdon against McCullough. It's over Brogdon. That one a little long. Rough start to the second half for them. Only getting one of the past four shots to fall. Barnes kicks to Brogdon. Mobley outside. Gobert with the block, and he recovers it. The Knicks have gotten just one of their first four shots to fall since coming out of the locker room at the break. McCollum finds Gobert. Robinson left side, stolen away. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. 
the pass to Looney. That's a two from Barnes. Rebound by Nurkic. Really thought he had this one. And the defense, they were giving it to him. Here's McCullough. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. That's on Malcolm Brogdon. And crafty move by McCollum there. Making sure he initiates the contact before letting the shot go. Real good, McCollum. And when you think of McCollum, the word efficient comes to mind. This guy just shoots the ball and plays the game at a high level. So McCollum nails both of them. The Cavaliers trail by six. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Looney passes to Brogdon. And there's the drive. And the rebound by Norkic. Norkic has got four rebounds now tonight. Solid rebound there, and with the score like it is, that's an area where they can't afford to get lazy. Here's Thompson. It's hauled in by the Cavalier. He's been off. Still, they're up, so not all is lost. Oh, boy, kicks to Brockton. Barnes outside. Six on the shot clock. And to break that ice cold streak, it counts, and the foul. It's going to be on Yusuf Nurkic. This is his third trip to the free throw line in the game. And his free throws are falling at a rate of only about 72% on the season. Not terrible, but listen, you obviously would expect him to do better. Hardaway's checked in for McCullough. A free throw off from Barnes. The Knicks leading by four. Hardaway dishes to Gobert. Feeds it to Robinson. Thompson for the triple. And that's good. Robinson picking up the assist. 16 points for Clay Thompson. The Cavaliers trail by seven. Pass to Looney. It's Brogdon on the wing. Guarded by Hardaway. Mobley sets the pick for Brogdon. He feeds it to Mobley. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Well, he has such tremendous upside. Evan Mobley and we've even heard coaches express jealousy that J.B. Bickerstaff gets to coach him. Young big men usually take time to adapt to this league not him. Beyond the production you love his maturity and the leadership by example. He throw good Mobley. Free throws, good for Mobley. The Knicks leading by five. Outside Hardaway. Outside Robinson. Back to Thompson. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Thompson's got seven now in this quarter. Clay can get it done inside, too. His role on this team is to score. Brockton outside. Here he goes. Goes back up. 
And Mobley lays it in. Mobley. Mobley's got 12 points in the game. Those are some hustle points. Really bonus points when you put in a miss. Hardaway against Rodden. Gobert trying to get open. Hardaway, no good. And so it's Brogdon with it. He brings it up for the Cavaliers. It's a five-point game. Bobbed up there for Barnes. And the dunk by Barnes. And you can see him give a little nod and then just burst to the rim for the alley-oop slam. A pair of teammates, Greg, with a terrific feel for each other. Now, here's Thompson. 18 points for him. Hard away from outside. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Mobley's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Barnes catch to Brogdon. The feed to Mobley. And Mobley throws it down. Smooth move there by Mobley off the pick, making himself a good scoring option. Hardaway passes to Nurkic. Passes it to Gobert. Hardaway from outside. And it's Hardaway again missing. And they're winning, but it hasn't been because of him. He can't throw it in the ocean so far. Hardaway against Rodgen. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Cavaliers will retain possession. Here's a look at what's coming up for New York. On Thursday, they'll be matching up against Giannis Antetokounmpo and the Boston Celtics. And then on Saturday, They'll be playing against Damian Lillard and the Brooklyn Nets. And just looking ahead to what's on tap, there are a lot of winnable games for them, but you can't go into the stretch with that mentality. You've got to focus on what's in front of you and bring it every night. Timeout called Cleveland. Different look for New York. JaVale McGee's checked in for Gobert. Alex Len comes in for Yusuf Nurkic. And it's Seth Curry in for Clay Thompson. the lead he blocks it again a, a defensive stalwart so far that's six blocks greg protecting the rim love the hustle robinson dishes to hardaway that doesn't go either for hardaway gotta find easier shots when you're already struggling that's not gonna get it and he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area he is and he picks the simple one hand stuff to get the two points hardaway finds curry some nice passing by new york here pass to mcgee just five on the clock Deep three-point range. 
That one, no good. So the Cavaliers will take it the other way. Well, he had one three-pointer in the first half, but so far in the second, he's come up with two saves. New York's gotten one of six three-pointers to drop since coming out of the locker room at halftime. Hardaway kicks to Kirk. Looking for McGee. He gets it there to stop the drought. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got his fourth assist in this one. Cavaliers have gone 7 of 15 from the field here in the third quarter. Highland passes Duarte. Over Hardaway. That one wide left. The Knicks with the lead. Outside curve. 11 feet away, and it's in there. McGee's got nine. Anytime you get a look at oh, it's a great trip. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Lobbed up there for Barnes, trying to go for an alley oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. Outside Curry. It's Robinson high post. He kicks it to Curry. Lock at six. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. Here's Highland. Misses from short range. The Knicks leading by three. Hardaway passes to Curry. It's Robinson high post. Taking a look at his stance, he's averaging around nine and a half points a game. After sinking one triple in the first quarter, he nails another one in the second quarter. He's got it going on. Here's Highland. And the pass to Okiki. Barnes looking around. Here's Achua. A dunk by Achua. An aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm -hmm. Trying to send a message with that slam, I think. And the Knicks decide to take their first time out here. And New York making a change here. McCollum's checked in. And we've got a moment now to check out the Eastern Conference standings and see where everyone is sitting as things begin to settle down just a bit through the midway point of the season. Taking a look at New York, they're fourth in the conference and looking to make a move the latter part of the season. And of course, the Cavaliers. They just haven't had the type of record they've wanted. And seeing where the Cavaliers are, they have been one of the major surprises in the NBA this season. Unfortunately, for the wrong reason. And we keep waiting for them to turn it around. And waiting, and waiting. And at this point in time, I'm just going to say it's probably not going to happen. Here's Curry. The Cavaliers making the shot. Len dishes to McGee. Curry passes to Robinson. Back to Curry. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And now we'll get a perspective here on how the hustle game has been going for New York. At the line, two shots. And he can't get the first one. Kevin Herter, he is checked in for Duarte. And he's good on the second. Here's Herter. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Two minutes remaining in the third. Pass to Highland. There's 154 left here in the third quarter. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Highland's got seven points. And that's not nearly the kind of defense that's going to prevent a player of his ability from scoring. McCollum finds Land. Outside Curry. A three ball. Drills the three-pointer. He's got 12. And his ability to officially score, that's really helped him out in this one. Putting them ahead on the scoreboard. One nineteen left to play here in the third. Barnes passes to Achua. Barnes trying to free himself up. Achua, no good. McCollum outside. Pass to McGee. Some nice passing by New York here. 
And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Chuma Okiki. That'll be his second foul of the game. Clay Thompson is checked in for the Knicks. Evan Mobley's checked in for the Cavaliers. 56 seconds left to play in the third. McCollum with the ball. And now by Barnes. McGee in the corner. Clock at four. Thompson for three. Mobley with the rebound. Mobley's got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big time effort. Here's Highland. He is guarded by McCollum. Barnes against Thompson. Here's a chew up. Good, and it's Barnes picking up the assist. Barnes has got three assists now in this one. Thompson against Barnes. Thompson right side. Takes it off the glass. Thompson's got nine points in the quarter. Got it in close, and unless it's an open three, that's the key to efficient offense. Down low. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That one on Thompson, and it'll be his fourth time going to the free throw line in the game. At the line, two shots. Both shots good from the strike. Ray Thompson has been leading the charge for New York. His production has been flowing as he's tallied 20 points and looks to be planning for more. Back right after. Now let's hear what Coach Tom Thibodeau was reviewing with his team in the huddle. Keep taking, man. Keep fighting. Keep fighting. Keep fighting. Every loose ball. We've reached the fourth quarter, and what has been a very competitive game should be an exciting finish. And Cleveland looking at who they've got to start the fourth quarter. Mobley is out there with Kevin Herter. Then there's a Chua. Then there's Malcolm Brogdon. And it's Highland in at the two-guard spot. The Cavaliers trail by four. To Achua. And one of the problems in the first half, that shoddy work at the free throw line. They needed to fix that, and they've been much improved since the break. At the line, two shots. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. And this is one of the things they need to keep doing in the second half to get this win. Keep knocking down those free throws. They've been sensational here at the line. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And so it's McCollum with it. He brings it up for the New York Knicks. They've held a 12-point lead earlier. Thompson outside. The green. That falls. Nice feed that time from McCollum. McCollum's got three assists now in this one. The Cavaliers trail by five. Rodden kicks to Mobley. Mobley is screen on McCollum. Here's Brogdon. Gobert with the block. And so the ball out of bounds. Gobert touched it last. A little over a minute of the fourth quarter gone right now. Here's a chew up. Second chance shot. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's on Mitchell Robinson. And that one falls for a chew up. Two shots. And both free throws good for a chew up. The Knicks leading by three. McCollum outside. Kicks it to Nurkic. Double team on Nurkic. Thompson from long range. 
drains it from beyond the arc. Thompson's got 26 points. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five mates are from beyond the arc. And that one's good, Brogdon. And this is how confident Brogdon is in his scoring ability. Able to get it done from everywhere. Colin passes to Gobert. Now Robinson, covered by Achua. Herter with it. And on Norkic. A pass to Highland. Pass to Brogdon. Shot clock at six. Passes to Highland. There's three pointers off the mark. The Knicks leading by four. Gobert with the pass to McCullum. Shoots over Brogdon. McCollum no good. It hasn't been his best game, but his team is still doing just enough to be up. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. Has to go bare. Back to McCollum. There's the pass to go bare. Dishes it to Nurkic. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Robinson. Yep, that one goes. And the Knicks lead by six. And how about the grit and determination? in the post. I mean, essential qualities to have late in a close game. Timeout called Cleveland. Who wants a t-shirt? Looney's checked in for the Cavaliers. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Well, during the break, I listened in on J.B. Bickerstaff's huddle. He said, look, you guys are playing physical, and I like that. But it has to be under control. We've committed way too many fouls. We've allowed way too many foul shots. Kevin? Thank you, David. Rodgen against McCollum. The jump hook. Rebound by Nurkic. Nurkic has got six rebounds in the game. Thompson outside. There's the dish to McCollum. Now, here is Robinson, defended by Looney. Thompson passes for Robinson. And Greg, starting your career with the Knicks, what's the pressure like playing in New York City? I tell you, the amount of media following you, the, the size of the city, it can be intimidating. But if you win, man, there's nothing like playing in New York. And there's one area where the Cavs have been very good the past few seasons. That's the draft. They've made some terrific picks in terms of personnel. And Cleveland making a change here. Barnes has checked in. He hits the second from the line. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Herter kicks to Mobley. It's Brogdon on the wing. Mobley is screened. Herter trying to break free. Home outside. Pass to Gobert. Thompson inside the line. They get the rebound. Robinson. No good with the layup. And so it's Brogdon with it. He brings it up for the Cleveland Cavaliers. They trail by seven. Six to shoot. Fires from the line. Robinson with the block. More than a few bad breaks for him this quarter. He's struggling, and the team is following suit on the scoreboard. Nurkic kicks to Robinson. Mobley against Gobert. And here's McCollum. Thompson for the triple. With the clock winding down and the dunk by Robinson. 
there it is, guys. One of those effort plays that makes a big difference in the game. And GA, it is definitely making a difference so far today. Offensive rebounding is about hustle and determination. Huge putback, making a statement there. Here's Barnes. And he can't stop this drought. Another miss. The Knicks leading by nine. Here's McCollum. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. That one on Mobley. CJ McCollum at the line. Two shots. First one falls for him. So McCollum nails both of them. The Cavaliers trail by 11. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Brogdon the pass to Looney. Back to Brogdon. Fires the three. Knicks with the rebound. Gobert's got 15 rebounds here tonight. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Passes it to Robinson. Here's McCollum. Just five to shoot. Good, and the assist goes to Robinson. McCollum's got the lead up to 14 now for the Knicks. So many of the plays they're running designed to create opportunities from deep. With the way they're shooting, there's no need to look for any other shot. Just keep letting it rain. To end the run. The shot by Looney, no good. Boy, you can just see the frustration growing on their faces. Nothing going their way. In a major drought, need to find some sort of momentum. They grab their own miss. The Cavaliers trail by 14. Now, Herter. Over Thompson. Barnes trying to free himself up. No good off the back of the rim. Thompson outside. Hits it from three-point range. Thompson's got 18 points now here in the second half. Three-pointers are killing them at this point. And they haven't been able to respond at the other end. 68. Barnes up top. He's guarded by Nurkic. Thompson against Barnes. Thompson passes to Gobert. And finished off by Gobert. With all the attention Clay gets, it can lead to open looks for others. Nice decision. Pass to Looney. Barnes against Nurkic. There's another block, and that's nine blocks. You know he's going to be coming hard for that tenth, too. The pass to Gobert. Outside Robinson. Thompson for the triple. New York with a new 14. Can't hit from in close. Timeout called Cleveland. And he could tell his guys starting to wear down a little bit. Call time to just let them get their legs back under them. Curry's checked in for McCullough. And Cleveland with a change here, too. Island's checked in. Cavaliers trail by 19. Pass to Looney. Curry against Brogdon. They double team Brogdon. They need this one. Highland misses. New York's gone 4-7 with the long ball here in the fourth quarter. Thompson from long range. 
The Cavaliers pull it in. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. No problems knocking that one down. Herter's three. got himself on the board with three there. He can really stroke it from deep. You have to keep better tabs on him. Curry dishes to Nurkic. Thompson outside. He claims that one off the back iron and down it falls. Thompson's got 11 here in this quarter alone. And Brogdon has got the ball here for Cleveland. It's an 18-point game. Pass to Looney. Pass to Brogdon. Looking to get it going. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And defense comes at Brogdon hard, but he shoots through. Good technique helped him get that one off. Brogdon hits them both. The Knicks leading by 16. Now here's Curry. Thompson outside. Lock at six. And the three off target. The Cavaliers trail by 16. Brogdon with it. Now the pass to Highland. Bear with the rebound. The next shooting has been way good so far. Only 37% from the floor. Here's Curry. Thompson outside. Here's Robinson. Mobley with the block. And he's able to get it back. There's 138 left in the fourth quarter. Here's Highland. He's guarded by Nurkic. Lets it fly. Once again off the mark by Cleveland. New York leading by 18. And, and guys, what we saw here tonight is one side having everything going for them. A huge margin of victory for New York. I think the attitude was very impressive. Definitely a competitive game, and they fought through it each step of the way. Absolutely. They put on a tremendous performance in terms of the effort and intensity. This was a well-deserved win. And so taking a look at their record, a nice milestone they'll be picking up tonight. 30 wins on the year now. And they put themselves into the driver's seat in regards to the season series with this team. Tonight's win will give them a 2-1 to -one edge with only one left to play. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Clay Thompson. He came up with a bucket every time they needed him to. Great effort on offense, and he was a difference maker. Second personal foul. Third team That free throw good from Thompson. JaVale McGee's check in for the Knicks. Lang comes in for Gobert. Cleveland also making some changes. Achua, he's checked in for Looney. Okiki comes in for Malcolm Brogdon. And Chris Duarte is subbed in for Kevin Herter. Here's Highland, guarded by Kerr. Highland passes to Orte. Good on the triple. Nice ball movement there. That's how you break down the defense. Here's Curry. So no problem for New York as they get the win. They won this game going away. They were the better basketball team by far. All right, David, great job. Thanks so much. And that's going to do it tonight.